cleaning drumming day. Do it, do it. Sorry. Ooh, very interesting animal game. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let, let me try. It doesn't seem too spooky now. Let me just go a little. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that is way too spooky. I need to fix this right now. It's not time. Where did I go wrong in the gears? I only earned five hundred dollars today. I need to work more. <laughs> I've been a bit lazy in my, in my job. That's like a fortune. <laughs> Calm down, Byron. <laughs> Five hundred dollars is my entire lottery. Probably because you barely make any money. Now, back to fixing this. Um, back to cleaning. All right, it's drumming day. Wait, Dave. You know that it's also cleaning day for Byron, right? Oh no! All right, time to get out the mop. Wait, Byron. <laughs> Day and your cleaning day on the same day again. What? That's uh, unbelievable. Oh no. But Why? who's going to do the job first? Why are you saying oh no? Well, uh, the bot deck. Oops. Oh, yeah, sorry. Let me drum first. This is more important. Let me drum first. I'm a dog and I can do better than drumming like that. I'm a crocodile. I can do so much better than you. Look. I'm up to like better than you for a million times. I can drum so much better than you. I am better than you. You need to just quit. <laughs> I'm a shadow shaker. Take the charges and put it. Let me try to try to raise the hand and sing the top. Okay. Okay, maybe I have been a little pissed with you. Uh, a little pissed? You have gone way too pissed for me to comprehend, Byron. Okay, okay, before everybody starts fighting, I know what to do. What? Then go close the laptop. Okay. Bye, animal game. <clears throat> beep, beep, beep. Calling the friend group chat. Calling the friend group chat. Ring, 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 ring. Ah! Well, all the phones are ringing at the same time. Oh my goodness. It's because I'm calling the friend group chat. Don't answer that. I only want Blueberry and Baby Lucky to answer. But I don't have a chat with just them. Okay. Do do hey guys. So, um, would you mind coming here? We have a predicament. A.K.A. Cold Clean Drum. Damn. Okay, bye. They said they'll be here as fast as they can. Yay! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. All right. Blueberry and baby boo monkey are coming this way. They came ASAP. <laughs> Hello! Jeez, that was quick. And you almost, and you almost broke my head off again. By the way, Dave, what, what is it? By the way, Sophie, what is Code Queen? Well, it's the code that we use whenever you guys are have have cleaning day and drumming day on the same day because it gets very chaotic. <sighs> cleaning is important, but kind of so is drumming. And clean clean drum day happens I'd say I don't know about every 4 months. Every 4 months? Maybe 5. What now? Every four to five months. Everyone, give me your laptops. Because this is going to get very crazy. I've learned. Okay, all laptops are over here. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So, everybody, listen up. Yes. Byron, this phone is if you need to call us because they're going to go to two attempts. Okay. This is safe for you, Dave. You, you have these, and um, Dave, you're gonna drum all the way over here, and Byron, you're gonna clean all the way over here, and um, uh. and, and um, yeah, that's it. And 
Sophie forgot that Byron also has to clean the other side, but no one else was really thinking of that, so they thought it was a pretty good plan. Uh, any flaws? No, I don't see any. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Actually, perfect! Let's go! <laughs> okay, I'll go move my setup somewhere else. But I also... No butts! Get to work! Hi, oh, jeez. And I'll just move over here. Hopefully nothing bad happens, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to a house. <sighs> oh my goodness. How am I get to, how am I supposed to get my job done? It's easy, Byron. Just get the mop and start cleaning. Everybody, let's go. Yeah. Uh, the, who Snowy. Wants, now who wants to stay to make sure everything's under control? Me and me. Okay, Blueberry, let's go. So bye, Byron. Bye. <sighs> Late again. Okay, Snowy. <laughs> Um, extra hiding out house, whatever. It's um, clean drum day. Meh. 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 That's a very peaceful house. And the wood, everything is soundproof. <laughs> so we won't be able to hear a single thing. Now let me turn off the music. <laughs> That was the calmest thing that you will be able to hear all day. It was finally time. And Byron and Dave thought that maybe they won't have such arguments this time because Blueberry and yeah, Blueberry. Because Big Monkey and Mango were there watching them. But then Mango remembered something that just had to be searched up. Oh, wait! I need to search up something! But Mango, you know a dog has to clean around here. And you know a uh, crocodile has to drum around here. Really has to drum? <laughs> That's what you said. And Big Monkey had to go use the bathroom. I need the bathroom. And Mango was in another room with the laptop. So they were technically on their own, just like the last time. Yeah, come on, stupid mop. Get out! Ah, there we go. Time to mop this place clean. <sighs> Alright. Now it's time for my favorite part of each of each week. And that is drumming day. <sighs> time for my favorite day! Cleaning day. Byron was talking sarcastically, meaning that he said the opposite of what he meant. Okay, let's go. Do, do. Do, 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 do. I was thinking of this new song. It's gonna sound so good. What if I just add a little more soap? Okay. Oops, mop is dirty. Time to wash. All right, that should be enough. So, what is happening? Just cleaning the floor here. Byron, caterpillar is covered in soap. <laughs> oh no! Caterpillar is allergic to soap. Achoo! Water. <laughs> no, the water's all over the floor. <laughs> no, great. Ants. Now I have to clean it up. Ants, don't walk there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm saving the planet, people. Ow! Great, now all my first, all my uh, sound instruments are ruined except my sticks. I'm my, sorry, Dave. My 38 legged buddies. I'll mop the floor clean so that no more water is in the floor. Thank you. Next time, I won't put too much soap. Now, anyways. Amps, you don't seem very useful for this drumming. I want to practice, but I might use you later. Okay. There we go. Oh, now I need a good beat. Uh, dun, dun. 
Come on! Stupid mop again. Go in this time! Wow! Okay, I need to stop playing some more of this. Hold on. Go inside! There we go. Now, how do I clean them up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go, mop is clean. Whee! Hold on. Now it's time for the brushing mission. Oh, nasty scraps all over the floor. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, I'm ready to scoop all these scraps. But all the scraps when he was about to pick them up were bouncing from the loud vibrations. Shot! Hey! That's a Ant! An ant sounded the cleanliness alert. Spyroom! There are scraps on my drum. They affect 0.0000.1 percentage of the drum's natural sounds, and I need all and more sounds for this to work. So could you please clean them up like you're supposed to do? <laughs> it was your fault. You made them bounce into your own drum. Yeah, it may have been me, but it's not my fault that I literally told you 10 million times that I would be drumming and that you need to be respectful of that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, jeez. I'll, I'll clean it up for you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Come on, little scrap. Now, i just going to throw this in the trash bin. Let's see. Hold on. If I go, if I do this... All right, there we go. Next is the spray bottle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I love spraying things. Byron still had to redo this process many times because he has to make sure that he trip that he quadruple checks everything. Yeah. Quadruple checking, very frustrating, but worth it. Okay, all right. Hold on. Did I dress up all the jacks? All the jacks? Nope. God, it dust off more. Some of the scraps bounced. Oh my goodness! That was an even bigger one. Dave! And that's a wrap. Anyways, what'd you need? Uh, there are scraps on your drum again. Why did you do that? I was having such a good time. It was your fault again. What did I do? <laughs> And you this... played the drum so loudly, it made my scraps bounce off. And they started yelling at each other again. Hey! I'm ah, drumming! I'm drumming! You need to respect that! You need to clean, you need to quadruple direct your side and then clean my side about the story beat. I'm sorry! But I'm sorry! Two. To yeah. 
to the point where Baby Monkey and Blueberry had to use their um normal quote unquote normal voice, which was a deep voice. It was Mango. Mango. Blueberry was in the house. So not Blueberry. Okay. Um <clears throat> Byron. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Who's speaking? Oh, baby boo monkey, wow. Oh, you could speak like that. Never mind. It's just scary. Yeah. So as I was saying, why are you shouting all the time? Uh be because He's throwing a fit! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to count to ten. came up with not blueberry <laughs> so he thought these were the halves okay and he said to feel free to ask any questions feel free to ask any questions while i keep drawing these halves that was a very bad beat but it was a b and that was a d yes so the b is byron and the d is dave so he drew very quickly a quote-unquote replica of the cleaning set. It's a caddy. A caddy. And although it wasn't very practical, it got the point. All right. So this is the mop, and this is the caddy. This is the soap bar, and those are the spots. Then Dave has a drum. It has the silver plates, which he can bang with, and he has the two drumsticks, or the 38 Lincoln Buddies. And <laughs> all the other instruments. And all the other instruments, too. So now, this is what Baby Monkey thought would cause the least amount of harm. I think that when, first off, Byron also needed to clean the other side. So when finished, he would move there, and Dave would move there, which is the first thing he wrote. Okay, so... Oh, that's why I interrupted Byron. He was about to say he needed to clean the other side, but I interrupted him. So he needs to clean the other side. He will move, and Dave will move, and will drum to the other side. Get it? Yes. <laughs> and then Baby Monkey thought that maybe there should be some soundproofing around around um a little wall that separated them. Um there should be a soundproof little wall so that um the chaos does not spread around. Now Baby Monkey was thinking literally the limit of over the sky while Mango was about to say that some of these things weren't even possible. Mango interrupted her. Uh, and now, <laughs> man, uh, baby boo monkey, what is it? Uh, these things aren't even possible. So, anyways, drawing the scene where, if I ask, I, I just... Hey! Mango, you're interrupting my drawings. Yeah, but... So... but no buts. Just let me draw the picture. <laughs> so he explained that if this is what they did. Am I a girl? So did he. Just... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and 
if Dave just wiped off the scraps so it would just go to Byron. And then Byron cleaned it up. And Byron quadruple checked the sides. Actually, what's the one for six? Um, sextuple checked. He sextuple checked. Sextuple. How about seven? Septuple. Septuple checked that side and then did it with the other side. Everything could be completely clean and if di and if the soundproof wall separated them, it would be good. And then he asked her any questions and that's when Mango blurted out that there was no way they could find a soundproof wall. Any questions? There's no way we can find a soundproof wall! How are we gonna build it? Oh, that's why what you tried to say to me. I'm interrupting too much. And I'm yeah, not listening noticed. to so many people. Okay. Um, I understand that it's hard to build a soundproof wall, but it's not impossible. All we need are just some materials. They're just some very hard to, to, hard to find materials. Well, then how are we going to build that? We'll just find the materials. Is, is, isn't that what construction workers are supposed to do? Find materials and build something? We are construction workers! No, but in a sense that we are making the wall, we are kind of like construction workers. Hold on, can I clean this board off real quick? Yep. Let me set you to some more real expectations. Okay. And Dave started drawing. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Except for the line, it's to, it looks like an eight. <laughs> so, here's what we could do. I'm gonna use very short symbols. So let's say that the, that the triangle is the caddy. Okay. The rectangle is my drum set and the other things around them. Okay. Okay. Um. Now, let's say that this squiggly claw line is the duster. Okay. And I'll use the same shape for the dust or like items. Let's say that it's all here on my drums. Instead of yelling at Byron, I could just swipe it away with my tail like you said and give it back to Byron clean. And like you said, we rotate. But instead of getting a soundproof wall, my drums move back in the corner. And Byron's cleaning caddy and his cleaning until needed to go to the middle moves over there. So we're at least far enough away for at least at the beginning until we get to bigger parts. It's a temporary solution so we don't have to do stuff like this. Okay. That's a great idea! And this way we don't have to go searching for soundproof materials! Sorry. Do we make the materials instead? Dar dar. Oh my goodness. So, here's what we're gonna do. Byron, you're gonna scoot that as much as you can. I'm on it. To the wall. Oh. <sighs> um, I'm gonna Grabbing my cleaning here. materials. And until Byron needs to move forward and we get... <laughs> and we get too close, then this will be a good solution. Because by the time that Byron gets to the middle, and he's in part of getting all the dust going over here and then here and then fighting, this will just be a good temporary solution. Got it? Got it! <coughs> Are you okay, Dave? Yes. <laughs> Crocodile coughs, I get it. <laughs> Looks like it spread to me. Don't worry, you'll be all right. <laughs> Guys, what's the back? <laughs> oh dear, it looks like we all caught Dave's cough. Well, I have very contagious coughs. Now, I'm going to move to the wall. I literally throw something at you. Ah! Please 
cleaning, cleaning, cleaning right now. No, don't clean. Move it to the end. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Oh, like end. that. Okay. Oh. Is. No, you're being so dumb. <laughs> Why? And, and they literally were just setting up and they were already oh. fighting. No, me and get space over here and move it there. I thought I'm supposed to move it here so that I could have more room to clean. No, over here. But over there. It's <laughs> better, yeah. So move it over here. That's literally the exact same spot. <laughs> it's pushed back. There's more space and everything's perfectly fit. And then my drums are over here. And that's all saluted. Bye, jeez. Big Monkey immediately knew this probably wasn't going to be such a great solution after all. <sighs> but he decided to play long. Oh, play long. Great idea! <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, time to clean. Let's do some practicing small, not very vibrating drumming sounds. <laughs> My scraps! <laughs> Again! But instead of being cross with Byron, Dave just flew the, the scraps away. Oh. Ow! They hit me. Cleaning here, cleaning there. There we go, throw it in the trash. I have to set tuple check now. One, two, oh my goodness, need to clean. Okay, let's do this again from the start. Do -do 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 -do. Let's make sure this is good. Come on. Okay. Uh, three, four. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh. Hold on. No singing. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Five. Clean. Six clean. Seven. Good. Time to spray now. to do his drumming solo, Byron had triple checked almost every every area in the first half of his half of the room and was now moving forward. Seven. So he now had to go back with Mach and start on the next half of his half of the room, aka this little section. <laughs> 
which was where things started to get a little more hard. So first off, he started doing his annual annual brushing of the brush and started cleaning. But Dave was done with his instruments and was only going to use them for later purposes if he has any time. So he was just drumming. And his and the hits of the drum were so loud that some of the scraps. Ah! Oh, where did they go? Are they on the drum again? But any on the drums flew back right in Byron's face because of the vibrations. Huh? Ah! Ow! I. My so eye. So they were in an infinite loop. They were bouncing up to Dave's drums ah! and then bouncing his eyes. Ah! Ah! All right. Dave. Hello, Earth to Dave. You're never listening to a dog, are you? Dave! And that's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. So, what do you need, Lauren? Uh, I have had enough. You keep banging with scraps. It, the scraps go in an infinite loop. They keep being banged up, but then only to return in my face. Only to get banged again and return to my face and, uh, and again and my face and again and my face. All in a repeating pattern. I've had enough of this pattern. This pattern is so sick! Sorry, I'm practicing my drumming. What do you say? I'm saying that I don't like this repeating pattern. Why do the scraps keep flying back and back to my eyes? <laughs> Dave! 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 Earth to Dave! Earth to Dave! Earth to Dave! Dave! Earth to Dave! Earth to Dave. Earth to Dave. <laughs> and then, Baby Monkey noticed that Byron was finally done with that half and was now moving, uh, now had to move on to Dave's section. <sighs> oh my goodness! Byron, I think you should start moving! Yeah! Alright. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, very hard here. That's okay, we all struggle. There we go. Hold on, let me move my drums first. Just giving Dave time to move. Okay. Yeah. Phew. Thank God. Ah! 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 Now let's roll. Yes. Here you go. Thank you, Mango, but I think I can move it all by myself. But Byron clearly was wrong. Don't. Uh, ah! And Mango, barely touching anything, moved it all in one second. <laughs> How did you? Magic! You don't sound like Piggly. Of, of course I don't. Just. Uh, just. <laughs> the other half of the room. Time to mop. Mop, mop, mop. Mop all day and mop all night. So the floor's all clean. Hey! Ooh, ooh.
There we go. All clean. Alright, now I need to figure out this deal the entrance. So, let's see who works good and who doesn't. So, doesn't sound very promising. Yeah, unless I'm doing a Jingle Bells and Maraca crossover, I don't think I'll be using that combo. Um, how about the Caterpillar? It sounds like it'll sound pretty good. It does not sound that bad. Okay. Here we go. It doesn't sound that bad. No. Next. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Okay, time to spray things. And it all sounds like this. Time to clean. What if they're all used at once? Ah! That was Bye, fun! Guys. And seven. Done. Until Lyra moved on to the next section, and that's when things started getting a little rough. It wasn't because he was doing something wrong. He was moving on to the next section of the thing. All right. Time to move. Yeah. That was all he needed to move. Oh. Fair. And started working on this section right here. And he started dusting and mopping until as he was um, mopping, Dave came over and asked him or something, right as he was mopping. Hey, I need your spray bottle and, and um, what's it called, and washcloth. Oh, uh, of course. Thanks. Uh-huh. But Ow. that was the only the start of of Dave stealing Byron's products. Okay, so first, wipe, wipe, wipe. You know, I could really use a duster just in case. Hey, can I borrow your duster? Okay, here you go. But Dave wasn't giving the item back. What's taking so long? There we go. Now, yeah. wash them up with only a little bit of soap. Hey, oh, oh, oh. can I use your mop? I need to get the size of this drop. Sure. Uh, sure. But yeah. the mop is all clean. But Byron, thanks. But Byron accidentally gave Dave every single product he used. Hmm? Oh, no. I accidentally gave away all my cleaning products to Dave. Okay. And Dave forgot to give them back, and Byron got mad. Uh, to the point where he just went up, yelled at Dave, and snatched all of his items back, including the mop. Ah, what is it? Go, 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 go. Hey, I wasn't even done using the mop. And then they well, you forgot to bring them back to me. I was going to use them at some point or another. Just <laughs> Byron from Dave, and Baby Monkey was holding Dave from Byron. Now, guys, we need to stop this quarrel. Yeah, that's right, Bingo. Ah! Dave! What? We better stop fighting. Yeah! Ah! No, no, no! No. And 
Mango, no. who was watching everything, realized that technically it wasn't anyone's fault because Dave was borrowing the items but just forgot to return them. Okay, it's nobody's fault. Sure, Dave must have borrowed the items, but he forgot to bring them back. And which, that's okay. Which made Baby Monkey, after Mango was finished talking, get the get the drawing chart again. Okay. So now, if we look at it this way, and he made a chart to remember for people for them to remember that they need to return. Okay. So now he made this policy where if a square was a cleaning product and a cleaning product was used for more than 20 seconds that would equal a take which means no matter if you were done with it or not 20 seconds should be enough yes so in other words, rectangle equals 20s, which equals ta. So, uh, yep. Which, ah. is, which basically means that a, that a cleaning product can't be used for more than 20 seconds, or else it is allowed to be taken. Yes. And they left the policy up this time. It didn't erase it. Baby. Got it, you two. Got it. Got it. Hey, can I borrow that mop again? Yes. Byron needed to triple check with the mop, but he decided to go back to it later and do the brushing instead. All right, let's do the brushing. But Byron didn't set a timer for 20 seconds. So after about 15 seconds, Byron thought it was 20 seconds and tried stealing the mop. Oh, it's 20 seconds. Hey, it hasn't even been 20 seconds yet. Yes, it has been. It was 15 seconds. Oh, too soon. Sorry, Dave. Which, thank you. And that reset the timer, which made Mango go get something. I need to go get something. He set this up. And if some, if Dave was using a product for over 20 seconds, Mango would press the button. Okay. Ready, set, go. And right as it hit 19 seconds, Dave gave them out back. But Byron thought that it had hit 20 seconds. <gasps> it hit 20 seconds? No. Wait a minute. It hit 19 seconds and I gave you a back. Plus, did Mango press the button? Oh! But it hasn't been 20 seconds. Oh, sorry, sorry. It has not been 20 seconds! Mango! So this time, Baby Monkey um, made a signal. So if it did hit 20 seconds, he would show a side to Mango to tell Mango to... Um, press the button. Okay, so this. He, you got it? So what he did is if all of these were yellow, then it's time to press the button. But if they all weren't yellow, like if they're just yellow, um, white, and blue, and red, that means that it's not time to press the button. Oh, okay. Mm. All right, um... Byron, are you using your spray bottle and washcloth? Certainly am. Oh, can I use the duster then? Of course. And that's when, and that's when, um, Baby Monkey started counting the seconds. All right, one, two, three. One. It looks so shiny, but I need to get the spray bottle. Here you go. Thank you. 18, 19, 20, Mango! Hold on, I gave the item back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Not time. Sorry, Mango. Um, Byron, are you using the spray bottle and washcloth still? No, I'm done with it. Can I use them? Here you go. Byron still had five more checks to go, but he started on the mob this time. 
All right, time to mop. Thank you, Dave. Of course. You can have the bop. Thanks. Four, five. Now the top is extra shiny and it's like a dry. Oh, my eye. It's harder than it looks. But then, um, Dave gave them all back. But now they were in a predicament. Byron told Dave that he could use the duster. You can use the duster. Thanks. But five seconds in of Dave using the duster, Byron realized that he needed it. Wait, I need it. But you let me use it. Oh, sorry. But then Byron realized that it's his item. He should be able to use it. Wait, it's my item. Shouldn't I be able to use it? And that started the fight. Well, actually, you and me borrowed this. I'm giving it back to you in 20 seconds. Can't you wait? But it's my personal item. But you let me borrow it. I know I did, but I just realized I needed it for something. So can you please bring it back? Hold on, I'm almost done dusting. <sighs> but Byron wasn't waiting. I'm not waiting. I'm an impatient dog. Bring me that broom right now. No. You're not generous, Dave. And Mango act and, ba and Babe Monkey lost count of counting, so we accidentally increased the timer by another 20 seconds. Oh, well, start again. One, two. Yeah, just bring it back. I promise you Wait that you can have the rest of my cleaning supplies. I can? Yes. But that was a wrong move on Byron's part. Dave placed it back. And then immediately grabbed the whole entire set. Oh, sure. Thanks. I didn't mean like that. You said it, and I asked you, are you sure? And you said yes. Yeah. Which made Mango tell Babe Umoki to stop the timer. Stop! But then Babe Umoki realized that it was that, that, that he actually shouldn't have stopped the timer. Dave and Byron were just fighting over the items. Ah. Wait! Don't stop the timer! Why not? Look what's happening! You let me borrow all of the items! You said that I could use them! I let you borrow the items but the broom! Why didn't you say but the broom? You only said I could borrow Because them. I needed the broom! <laughs> The probe! This? No! That's a probe! Yes. Actually, you can't because it's dust. They're not a broom. And Dave was being very difficult. But bring me the dust ramp! I'm not bringing you the <laughs> dust ramp. Give me! Give me that! Me! Well, I need the... Ah! Ah! The dust broom. Ah! And then Mango saw this and told Bay of Monkeys that he needs to get this fight to stop quickly because it was basically like a game of get to the top of the mountain and Dave was being unfair. Stop the fight! Got it! I didn't and say the dust broom. No, duster. guys. And I returned it. The duster. And then I took it all. And that technically was liable because he said that I just had to do that and I could do it. 
No, to uh, bring uh, to uh, I let you take the supplies, but the uh, broom, but the dusk, but the duster, the dusk. but the duster. Well, I remember you saying that you wanted it to be where I could take everything if I returned the dust broom. That's not true. That All right, so true. stop the fight, guys. You have to stop this quarrel. It's really frustrating us, and it's not acceptable to have a fight. <sighs> Fine. Can I at least have the, the the mop? Yes. Fine. Take your stuff. Okay. But then Byron realized that he doesn't have the spray bottle. Wait. My spray bottle! <laughs> you got new poppers on this! It literally just cleans! Sorry, it was an accident. I tripped. Now I need a spray bottle! You need a spray bottle? Okay. Thank you. Over here and over there. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Six. And finally, they cleaned everything and stopped fighting. Seven. All right. I'm done. Now my drums are clean for the next drumming day and all my stuff is put away. Now the floor is completely clean. And now, the floor is not slippery anymore. And there are no uninvited guests' footprints anymore. Let's go. And, they, and Byron went to put the caddy back where it belonged. Whoa! Oops. There it goes. And they went to put the drum back where it was. But lots of anger and yelling from Dave, uh, Byron, Big Lumpy, and Mango. And a lot of precision. Okay. I've looked in there like ten times. Durr. I think I finally know what gear. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Hey guys. Hello. Oh, hi, Blueberry. Guess what? The floor's clean. Ooh, shiny and sparkly too. Who cleaned this? Byron did. Wow, Byron. Now the reason that it was so shiny was because he um. I, I what? You cleaned it seven times. Oh yeah, I cleaned it seven times. That's why. Ooh, slick and slam. Very cool. I like it. I like it too. <sighs> For a moment, it was nice and calm. The only sound was the running water of the water closet. Hmm. What gear? Oi, oi. The gear in this in this thing. Now when usually it's supposed to go to the high uh let's say Dave, I do this at the right momentum. 
The last time I was doing the momentum, I went around the whole entire world. Let's see. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, but you were proving my point. So, now that I finished this job, I can go return it to the birds. But I would return it to Chuck because he said he was going to pick it up. But he called me 10, minute, uh, 10 minutes ago and said that he was about to leave the store. But there's a new, <laughs> sell, a new sale on Beak Sanitizers, which you couldn't miss. <laughs> of course. Like always. So, um, I'm going to go return this to the Angry Birds. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Now that my cleaning job is done... I would, I could just relax for a minute. And now that my drumming is done, I can wait until the next drawing day. And I can wait till my next cleaning day. Hello, Angry Birds. Where are you? Oh, we're here. Give us a second. Okay, where are you, Chuck? You've been, you, you've been hiding for a long time. I like to play hide and seek. Yeah, but you're hard to find. If you were easy to find, I would go look. There's Chuck. But it's not easy for me to find. So you would go, where's Chuck? Ah. Just come out here, Chuck. He, he came after buying lots of beak sanitizers. Dun, 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 dun. Why are you carrying beak sanitizers? And everyone, and, um... Bomb and red face bombed. Pew, 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 pew. Bomb red. Oh, yeah, sorry. Pew, pew. Ah, Chuck, didn't I already tell you since Christmas of 2023? Do not buy too many wig sanitizers. Uh, but I like to uh, sanitize things. I know, but you shouldn't be able to sanitize anything. And we're about to reach the anniversary of um Chuck's first beak sanitizer purchase. <laughs> and it started the year-long obsession. <laughs> Yay! The other thing that he bought that you told him to not buy. Oh! Uh, wing polish. I brought wing polish. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> wing polish. <laughs> and also, beak colorations to make my beak more yellow. Chuck, <laughs> your beak is as yellow as it is, okay? All our beaks are yellow. Really? I haven't noticed that. The darn. <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> Just because you want a beak sanitizers does not mean you always have to sanitize. There are when and when not to sanitize times. Are you laughing? Are you learning something new, Dave? Ooh. Anyways. Okay, I know that hygiene is very good for you, and it's very important. But, <laughs> sometimes the hand-washing room is not always located everywhere! And plus, the beak sanitizing rooms are not even the real thing! And as um, Red was talking on about why he doesn't need all the beak sanitizer... Chuck was putting on beak sanitizer and wig polish and the beak colorations. And uh, quite honestly, why do you need to color your beak more yellow when it's already as yellow as it is? It even matches your color of your feathers. Until, until Red looked over and noticed that his beak was a little bit more yellow. Wait a minute. Is your pick a little more yellow? And then he realized. <laughs> Do not tell me. I put more beak colorations on. Sorry. 
Chuck. Yeah, 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 yes. R -r Red. <laughs> Look, you cannot put on B colorations, especially when I'm talking. <laughs> but as knowing Red looked away for a second, Chuck already had a whole new layer of B not a beak of, of beak coloration. Wait a second. Your beak looks a lot more yellow now. Oh no. Do not tell me. Have you brought several more layers of beak colorations? Yes. How did you know? Da da. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> and he said that he even has other colors that were limited edition, but he doesn't use them because his beak aren't those colors. I have other colors that are limited edition, but I don't use them because it's, because sadly my beak is not those colors. Well, guess what? <laughs> you don't need to color your beak those colors because I like your beak just the way it is. And, just like you, I like you just the way you are! You don't need to put on any wig sanitizers to look more beautiful. Then, You're already beautiful to me! But then Chuck said, actually, it's wing polish, not wing sanitizer. Actually, it's wing polish, but I didn't put on wing sanitizer. But thank you, Corne Reader. Uh... uh I'm actually getting wing sanitizer right now. Wait, Chuck! As he was talking, he he ordered some beak sanitizer and wing sanitizer, and he went shopping for those things at the same exact time. So when he arrived, there was twice the amount of what he bought. <gasps> yes. Okay. Look what I brought! A lot more hygiene products, but I totally ain't necessary! Dave was trying as hard as he could not to burst down into laughter. <laughs> okay, Chuck, we may need to talk a little in private. I have algaes too. <laughs> oh no. Do not tell me. It better not be that orange. In white. Latin. It's not Latin, sorry. Satin. Body. You're gonna be part of this too. Yes. I am more intelligent than everyone else. <laughs> hey, move out of the way! Uh, 
out of the way, Dave. No, so you out of the way. You know I am the star of the show. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> Get out 